But social media is the best and also the worst piece of that has ever been given to mankind. It can make you and it can also break you. But as a photographer starting out a business, use it to make you and not break you. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Siobhan Beckford here and in this video I'm going to go through some essential tips you need to start your photography business going into 2023. Let's go. So for this video, I'm not going to be all fancy and censored, formal. I'm going to give you guys the raw, straight facts, uncensored, unedited, clean as day. Uh, I have to do some editing. I won't post any trash looking videos on YouTube. You know my style. But I'm not going to hide anything from you guys. I'm going to give everything to you guys that I use to start my photography business up to this point in my career. So maybe it can help someone out there who is currently stuck or who wishes to start a photography business in 2023 because I had a warm time starting this business and running the business and I hope I can be of assistance to someone out there looking to start a similar or the same journey. So no time to waste, let us dive right into those tips. And tip number one is just start. Stop waiting on that perfect time. There's no such thing as a perfect time. The perfect time is now. Go out there, start taking photos, start that business. Start landing clients, start making some money. Money in, that's what a business is. There's no perfect time to start a business. You should start right now. You can make mistakes as you go along, but mistakes are what help us to learn what not to do again in the future, unless you're a f***ing idiot. But you get what I'm trying to say. Just start and learn as you go along the way. Don't wait, just start. Tip number two is social media. Now, social media is the best and also the worst piece of that has ever been given to mankind. It can make you and it can also break you. But as a photographer starting out a business, use it to make you and not break you. So what I'm trying to say is take TikTok, for example. You go on TikTok, you're watching videos and before you know it, you've been caught up for an entire hour watching endless garbage on your smartphone, burning a damn hole into your iris and wasting productive time that you could have been using to maybe edit some photos you took yesterday or maybe wash the dishes that have been in the sink waiting for hours, maybe even days. So instead of wasting your time scrolling on TikTok and making other persons gain your views, how about you start putting some content on social media to waste the time for other losers out there who are using social media? Oh, 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 oh. and quick break. You think I'm gonna be giving you guys tips for free? I'm gonna hold the next tip ransom until you hit that subscribe button, yeah? I'm watching. I'm waiting on you to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, good. Anyways, let's continue. Social media is a weapon, but you get to choose whether you're wielding that weapon or that weapon is striking you the f down. <laughs> and again, I'm going to continue talking about TikTok because TikTok is a brilliant piece of trash. The reason I say it's brilliant because whoever created it, they know exactly what they were doing to program your brains and with your attention span so all you do is scroll through some vertical short form content vertical that's that's insane that's abomination to the filmmaking industry and then short form how about people like me who sit for hours creating a 10 minute youtube video and you have some random person just scrolling through some five second clip that has gotten millions of views and like i'm not hating on anyone as i said it's a brilliant piece of trash but the trash is you get hooked it wastes your time which you could have been using to market your photography business so start making some short form content and post it on tiktok so others can gobble up those content you can go trending maybe land some new clients and start making money use social media as a weapon don't make that weapon be used against you 
yeah so let's say you have now been trending on social media you have got a viral reel or a couple of viral tiktok videos now what's next what's next is you're gonna boost your quality since you just started and then you utilize the great weapon of social media you're now gonna sharpen your skills as a photographer and improve on your quality in taking photos maybe start to learn how light works to make your flash photography stand out better maybe research some more about skin retouching to make the skin of your talents pop some more composition coloring all those good stuff so you can hone in on your photography skill set to be one step higher on the ladder than when you just started out so improve on your skill and that's the next step of the journey yay so you have maximized on your quality as a photographer step three now you're gonna move on to step four what's the next step you ask this is going to be finding a unique style for yourself as a photographer to set yourself apart from the other minions running around with a camera and when i say find a unique style for yourself i don't mean like color grading the f out of your photos or pushing the saturation through the roof or that kind of unique style i'm talking about maybe using a specific theme for taking your photos a specific angle a specific lens a specific color that you make pop in your photos a preset that you use i don't know what it is it's up to you go find a style a unique style for yourself to set yourself apart from other photographers be unique be you take peter mckinnon for example that guy is a legend if you look at his photos there's a specific style in which he takes and edits his photos that sets him apart all pro photographers have a unique way in which they edit their photos they frame their photos maybe it's a lens that they use a focal length maybe it's their camera i don't know the depth of feel of their photos it's up to you find a unique style i'm not going to give you a unique style that's your homework if i give you a unique style then that style won't be unique to you so you need to find a unique style for yourself and one that works for you now we are moving on to tip number five so you find a unique style you've maximized on your quality you've you you've started you've used tiktok to go viral now you're a famous photographer you're viral on social media and a lot of persons are dming you liking your photos telling you how much they like it they like your style with that teal and orange popping of your colors yada 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 the next step or the next tip you should take into consideration is networking now once you reach to this stage in your photography business you're gonna want to associate yourself with the big guns yeah the big guns within the photography industry whether they are in your region internationally start networking start talking to other photographers maybe within your level of expertise or a of you there's nothing wrong with talking to photographers who are just starting out or maybe a level or two below you but try to talk to persons above where you're at or persons on your level and seeking to go beyond you become what you associate yourself with so i'm not trying to say you shouldn't talk to anyone below you but talk to persons and network with persons above you so you will thrive to be on their level so you can start making the millions they are making from photography so tip number five network and you don't have to only network with photographers you can network with filmmakers real estate agents businesses business owners everyone just network with persons at an advanced stage of whatever it is that they're doing maybe they can recommend you to a client who knows just start networking and spreading your name throughout the land the kingdom of your domain make your name echo throughout the entire universe network the next tip i'm gonna give you guys is a very underrated tip and a tip a lot of photographers who are big in the industry tend to neglect and don't tell upcoming photographers and it is to upgrade your equipment that 
Canon 6D Mark II ain't gonna do you any good in this day and age where there are Sony A7IV's. So upgrading your equipment is very important. A lot of persons will say, eh, oh, it's the gear doesn't matter. It's, it's who's using the gear. Oh my God, the, the gear doesn't matter. Oh, it's, it's how you use it. Oh my God, try taking a billboard photo with a Sony A7S III. Yeah, it's only 12 megapixels. That will look like a piece of up on that side. So the gear does matter. It's full time someone let the cat out of the bag that your equipment is only good up to a point. Your skill set can surpass the equipment that you're using. You cannot get red quality with a Canon T7i. So the equipment does matter. And I'm going to bash and continue to bash the creators out there who keep saying, oh, the equipment doesn't matter. The correct term to use is your equipment don't matter up to a point because it does matter. So upgrade your equipment once you're at a level so you can get better photos, cleaner photos, and it also makes the work easier, trust me. The better your camera is, well, the better a camera is, the more expensive it will be, the easier the job will be. A bigger sensor will make taking photos easier than a cropped sensor. A faster lens will make the photos more exposed and give you more bokeh or depth of feel than a cheap kit lens. So equipment does matter. So upgrade your equipment. If you're a flash photographer, maybe get some, some strobes above your speed lights, even though speed lights are very vital and they're good tools for starting out and even when you're a professional. But over time, you're gonna need some more powerful flash, such as strobe lights. So you should upgrade your equipment, get better lens, better bodies, get extras in case something happens to your main camera, you have a backup camera. Upgrade your equipment, get more equipment. Yeah, that's the next tip. Just get more equipment and don't get gas. That is gear acquisition syndrome. Don't be gas, don't buy everything you see. Unless you're rich and you have the money, of course, buy everything you see, it's up to you, it's your money. But get upgraded gear as long as you can afford it and you see how it will benefit your quality and your business. And we are up to the grand finale tip. Last but not least, this tip is get legal, register your business. It would be such a bummer if you're running this huge photography business and then the IRS walks in and say, oh, you haven't paid taxes in 10 years. We're going to have to shut you down. So get your business registered, start paying tax so you can be protected and operate legally. It's better to be safe than sorry in the future. So I'm telling you guys this, get your business registered and legal so you don't run the risk of being shutting down and going to prison. It would be such a bummer. Get your business registered and start paying your taxes. You don't want those taxes to pile up and you can't pay them and go to prison. So start paying your taxes and get your legal stuff ready once your business is up and pumping in some cash. Start paying back on. That's, all, that's, that's the right thing to do. I approve that message. And yes, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Those are some of the small tips that no one really told me about or explained to me when I started my photography journey. So I believe that I should share them with you guys so you don't run into some of the troubles I ran into when I started this journey and I can help to make the journey smoother for you guys as much as possible. You guys know I post a lot of photography and video production videos on this channel. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't by the way. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I make awesome content. Yeah, very awesome. And yeah, I will be making more videos like these to talk about the business aspect of the photography and filmmaking industry. So you guys can stay tuned if you're into that stuff. And yeah, I hope you start the business now, start now, and I wish you guys all the best, especially going into 2023. And if you're in 2023, we made it. So it's Siobhan Beckford. Thanks for watching this interesting and entertaining video. And I'm signing out.
I don't know why I made a ton of grammatical errors in this video. I am a Jamaican, guys. I, English is not my first language. I speak Jamaican. Yeah. This is our official language. Ah. I do not speak English. Ah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. English is the native language for Jamaica.